Hi everyone, this is Neil Wright, a consultant, audiologist and director of ClearWax. Thank you for joining me in my latest video using the Waxscape. And here we have a patient who attended with bilateral, fully occluding earwax. And this is the patient's right ear. And as you can see, what we're doing with the specular, not only are we dilating open the ear canal, but we're also trying to push away those hairs that are protruding from the first bend on the left hand side. And I've just put some medical grade olive oil spray immediately because the consistency of this wax is really soft and gooey and sticky and syrupy. And olive oil tends to help coagulate and bind this wax together. So it changes the consistency and it also helps to prevent blockages. Now, you can see some uh, a sheet of really glossy orange skin. At first, I thought that was a, a foreign body, but it was just some... Uh, uh, crusted skin that had kind of amalgamated within this block of wax. Just going a bit higher up in the ear canal, you can see quite often, as quite often is the case, you've got this layer of peripheral skin that envelopes the plug and that skin is generally quite adhesive. There's some here to the left hand side as well and sometimes by separating that skin it mobilizes the plug it's almost like that famous magic trick where you've got a table and a tablecloth and you've got uh, glasses, plates, cutlery all on the cloth and the musician gets the cloth and pulls the cloth away but all the remaining items stay on the table. So imagine that skin like that. If we can magically remove that and peel that away from the around the periphery, it just mobilises the plug of wax. It's not always possible. I think here the suction tube is just getting a bit blocked. So I suspect in a minute I might use some more oil. I'm just going around the posterior canal wall, trying to reveal some of the ear canal. Until we re reveal the ear canal, I've got to be extremely careful with this suction probe when I'm entering this part of the ear canal and also the floor because I just don't know where the canal is and we don't want to poke. But now... As you can see, some of the canal is revealing itself and that immediately gives me a much better idea of this patient's ear anatomy and where to, and importantly, where not to position the instruments. And in this case, we're using uh, suction tips. So these suction tips are um, the right ear canal suction tips. In fact, everything I'm using, apart from the suction pump and the tubing, is manufactured by Clearwax. So we're using the wax scope, the specular, it's manufactured by Clearwax, the suction tip, the handle, um, the app. So, oh, we're not, I didn't develop the iPhone. I can't take credit for that. Um, so again, just stretching open the ear. You've got this piece of wax in the middle. It's a bit matted. It's a bit more dense here. And I don't know if you can see on the left-hand side, there is still a layer of skin. I'm just giving it a little wriggle movement. I can feel it's a bit more trapped and I'm not getting a good suction grip. I think some of the suction probe is a bit blocked. I just want to pull this piece away. I think that piece was a bit matted and it. it's a bit more difficult to extract. You can just see how gooey the top part is. So I've put some more oil in. You can see how well the oil works. It just changes the consistency, which allows me to get a better suction grip. But I can feel it's trapped. When I'm pulling at it, it's it's not dislodging as easily as I'd like deep in the ear canal. So obviously we can't see the deeper part of the plug adjacent to the eardrum at the moment, but it feels like it's trapped in, in, in the isthmus, which is a narrowing of the ear canal just in front of the ear canal. Again, some matted wax and skin. So we can't use forceps because of the consistency. Um, because of the consistency, I just want to, obviously you can't use an ear hook because that's just going to cut through it. And even with the correct at the moment, because it's quite mushy, I'm just a bit worried that with the correct, although I can get some of this out, it's going to spread it like butter against the canal wall. So ideally, I want to persevere with suction if at all possible and trying to, get this out in a plug and as you can see it's coming away now and you can see that skin I was referring to this, you can see some of the white patches so that's fresher um, shed skin 
And that's the first bend to the left, to the right. That's the second bend. So the first bend is just, of course, uh, in front of the second bend, probably about half a centimetre in front. And I'm just trying to wriggle this through the entrance now. Because I've had to come away with the specular, so we can bring this wax plug out, the ear canal has collapsed somewhat. It's not, it's not a collapsed ear canal, but uh, dilating open that first bend just keeps the ear canal ajar, keeps it open. So it's quite literally hanging out, protruding out from the patient's ear. So we can see this with the naked eye now. And you can see the ear at the first bend to the left, it's just come down and it's trapped this wax. And you've got all those hairs there as well, that's matted. I did get some skin away. So I'm gonna see if I can just stretch open that first bend, but we're right up against the wax plug. Just trying to tease it from the bottom and come upwards. I've got a grip of some of those hairs, which does reduce suction power. But hopefully we can just tease this through. So I'll just put a bit of oil, I think, as well, just to help lubricate the canal. So some of the wax, although it's not being pulled out, is getting suctioned up. And I think I've got a hole of this bit now. So I'm just going to rock it and tease it. Do I use the cred at this stage? I'm not sure. Or do I persevere with suction? Let's have a look. No, this is a using suction. So I could, could have perhaps used the cred at this stage because the plug is right near the entrance. But I think this has come out now. So, well, I think at least some of it has come away. Well, that's the bulk. The eardrum is in the distance. We'll get that in focus in a minute. Just going to mop up this soft wax at the floor of the ear canal where all the hairs are. So again, with the specular, I want to push those hairs out the way to the left. Going to get the eardrum in focus and a lovely crystal clear image of the eardrum. And I'm just going to mop up some of this soft wax. So this is probably just where the second bend is, going to hover over the canal. You can see how syrupy it now. There's a bit of skin there. It's starting to peel and it's starting to clarin clarinet as well. So I'll just come away from that region. I'm just going to clean up some of these sticky hairs that's got all the wax soaked around them. So moving on to the patient's left side, you can see some of this wax is actually sticking out the ear. It's really, really sticky. So now I'm using the right hand side of the speckle to push the right hand side of the canal to the right. That's the first bend. And again, trying to push the hairs out of the way. So when you're inserting the wax scope specular, you want to push the first bend out of the way and then just tuck in the, uh, in the case of the left side, left ear, the left hand side of specular in just in front of the second bend, or sometimes you can get it beyond the second or adjacent to the second bend, you can, it's narrow enough. So this is not vacuuming very well, but I think this wants to come out in a plug. It's stickier, but it's also therefore a bit firmer. I'm just gonna get it in focus. It's right near the entrance. As I'm suctioning it, those hairs to the right are tangling with the wax, so it's trying to keep it in. So these hairs, um, they're actually designed to prevent foreign bodies, invaders, insects, bugs, etc., from entering the ear, the terminal hairs. But in the same way, if you've got excessive wax and you're trying to pull it away, they can mat up against the wax and prevent the wax from coming out. So again, just trying to separate that skin. You see that plug is beginning to Elevate now off the canal wall. I think the suction tube just got blocked. So just come out the air, giving it a little wriggle. And I've got this sheet of wax. You can see the skin on the underside. I'm just giving it a little tease. The skin is separating, I think. 
similarly to the left side, you can't use forceps. A hook will just cut straight through. A correct, I'm just wary that it's going to smother and smear this wax. So if at all possible, with the help of the oil, I'm going to bind the wax and try to bring it out in a plug or several plugs. And just see how adhesive that skin is. So just gone a bit higher up to get a better suction grip. Probably the trickiest type of wax to remove uh, this and the clay chewing gum type. It's, it's just so hard to suction in. Again, if this is firmer or harder blob of wax, you can use the hook and correct a good effect. So I've just put more oil in. Just going to mop up this second bend region so I've got, you can see the ear canal a bit better. You just block the tube because it's a bit matted with the hairs and the sticky wax. So I've probably got about a third to a half of the wax out. You can see that just deeper in the ear now, that wax is just readjusting the focus. So probably about half away or two thirds of the way in. And now hopefully It'll start coming around the plug, so I'm just suctioning more on the anterior side. I'm just hovering over the plug. I don't want to apply too much pressure because then it might block the tube. You can see that skin, particularly at the bottom left of the screen. You can see this sheet of skin on the left hand side. Will that come away separately or will it come away with the plug? We shall see. So I think it's coming away with the plug. I'm just navigating the bends of the ear canal now. So uh, there's the first bend to the right, second bend to the left. I think it just blocked the tube, but it is coming away. You can see, I don't know if you just saw that before I fully entered with the speculator, there's a, th a thick layer of white skin. You can just see it at nine o'clock. And that skin is very likely surrounding the whole plug, the whole periphery. And it was that skin that was stopping it from coming away initially. But in a funny kind of way, that skin is probably now helping to keep the sticky syrupy wax together as well in a, in a package in an envelope i uh, used that analogy earlier so with the help of that skin so sometimes you want to remove that skin especially if it's a harder plug of wax but in this case it's probably better keeping it there again it's just blocking the tube just gone to the top of the ear just looking for the right spot to get a suction grip and I feel like it's just the bottom where it normally is in this area and you can lift it up and then I can tuck it inside the second band there we are I'm giving it a little wriggle it's quite a large plug actually so just going to look at the eardrum a bit of a narrow ear canal nice healthy view of the eardrum just probably going to mop some of this sticky wax to the edges See just how sticky and hurry it is. And the, the benefit of the way we, we perform the procedure is you don't get much of the wax spreading against the floor of the ear canal, so you get a nice, clear, stain-free ear, ear canal. Bit of skin there. So yeah, I've got quite a narrow, bendy entrance on this side in particular. And then just going to mop up some of the wax. Or do I, do I leave that to the left? 
just having another look at the eardrum. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Take care. Keep well and speak soon. Bye.